and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ayelet and I am the mother of a now 18 month old. Um, we practice Montessori at home and on this channel I share about our Montessori and respectful parenting journey and we've been doing Montessori from birth. So today I'm talking about last month, so that's 17 months, what he's been playing with at 17 months. So I want to apologize in advance if the sound is not as good as usual on this video. Um, I usually have a little microphone. I couldn't find it this morning or <laughs> this afternoon. I couldn't find it. Um, my husband is out with my son right now. And since I have limited time, I just wanted to get recording even though I couldn't find the microphone. So I hope you can still hear me. I apologize for that. There's just gonna be this little snippet at the beginning that's me talking and then I jump into videos anyway. So, um, I've never actually spoken like this at the beginning of one of the monthly play videos. I've been doing these since he was, I want to say 13 months old, um, might be 14 months. I've been doing monthly videos about what he's been playing with that month. So, you can go back and see them. I think it's 13 months, as I said. Whatever. Um, you can go back and you can see what he was playing with at each month, what's been interesting, what's on our Montessori shelf. So, this, today I'm covering 17 months. But I wanted to jump on here real quickly at the beginning, um, which I, as I said, I haven't done before, because I wanted to talk a bit about play this month, um, because he hasn't been super into his shelf this month. And he has gone through a few months recently where he's been playing a lot with things on his shelf. And this month, it's just a lot of the stuff didn't really hit. So I have a shelf behind me. This shelf right now, what it looks like right now, took a bit of trial and error. Um, what I had at the beginning of the month, he wasn't really into. There ended up being a few big wins and a few things that he plays with a bit, but not quite as much. So I'm gonna go talk a little bit about that. So one thing I noticed this month, and this is something that I try to observe in my son, is that he is in the trajectory schema. So schemas are something I'm going to talk about hopefully soon in a video, um, but schemas are these patterns in play that we see, and there are different ones, and one of them is a trajectory schema. And trajectory schema is an interest in lines and movement. So you see it a lot in interest in throwing. So we've definitely seen a lot more growing this month than I'd seen other times. And while I've been able to really direct that towards balls and stuff, which is fine, I wanted to also try to see what else could I do that would play on that same interest. So one example of that is I have this pounding toy. This specific one is um, no longer available, it seems like, or out of stock, which stinks because it's such a great toy. Um, but it's a pounding toy. I can show you, I mean, show him playing with it in a little bit. Um, but he has loved this one. So that's just one thing to keep in mind is sometimes like it really feels like nothing is working on the shelf. 100% I felt that this month. I felt he wasn't really touching anything. He just was not interested in it. If he'd come and he would, you know, he'd stack a few things. Like he does still enjoy his stackers, for example, and he'd stack them, but then he would kind of just lose interest. And I was really struggling to figure out what is that thing that is really going to capture his interest this month. Last month, he was really into threading. He still enjoys it. But this month I was like, what is it really that's going to capture his interest? And it was the pounding toy. And that was, I you know, knew to look into that because I knew he was in the trajectory schema because I've been seeing a lot more throwing and a lot more interest in throwing. So that's just something to keep in mind. I'm going to, as I said, talk about schemas again soon, um, but it's just something to think about when you're thinking about, you know, what to put on the shelf. So as I mentioned, shelf work was not a big part of our, of our month this month. Um, he's been a lot more interested in practical life um, but with that being said, I'm going to show you what we have enjoyed this month on the shelf. Um, but we've been doing a lot more cooking and a lot more things like that, as well as gross motor stuff. Um, so here you go. Here is what we've been playing with this month. As I mentioned in the intro, this pounding toy has been an absolute win this month. This has without a doubt been his favorite toy this month. I also brought out his ball run again because I knew he was interested in trajectories, as I said, and I thought he might be interested again in how the ball goes down the ramp, and he really was. He's been really happy to see that back. As I mentioned as well, he continues to be interested in threading, so this toy has remained a favorite this month. He also remains interested in stacking. We have a few different stackers on the shelf. This one has been a favorite.
This one also that's a bit more challenging has been a favorite this month. This one's a bird stacker um, and he's really enjoyed the challenge of this one. This one has to be sequenced in a certain way for it to work, which is why it's a bit more challenging. Then here we have a stacker that has been on his shelf for many months and continues to be one he really enjoys. So I've been leaving it out because he continues to love it um, and come back, comes back to it time and time again. He's done some puzzle work this month. I wouldn't say puzzles have been one of his favorite activities this month, um, like they were some other months, but he is still using them and still enjoying them. Um, this has been, we brought this one back. The well, vegetable one is a bit more of a challenge. This one I had out on the shelf previously and I decided to bring back this month to see what he thought. We've also continued to love this um, Love Every Flower Arranging set. Um, he enjoys posting in that. And that's one that I've kept out um, for probably two months now and he's really still enjoying it. This was a fun apple themed transferring activity this month with a slotted spoon with water in one and nothing in the other who's transferring the apples. You could do something like lemons for summer as well. Um, here we have magnet tiles. These are just a simple, you know, versatile thing that's been on the shelf and I've noticed him doing a lot of work with them. Um, so that has been interesting to observe as well. He likes to take them apart and also to stack them and he has a very exacting way that he is stacking them. Also, of course, he loves when I build things with the magnet tiles and he can knock them down. And that also supports the trajectory schema as well. So that has been a great activity this month. That's a look of, at what we've been playing with this month at 17 months. As I mentioned, shelf work has really been a small part of this month. We spent a lot more time on gross motor play and a practical life. But there you go. And if you liked this video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more Montessori at home.